My name is Axel Timmermann and I'm the director of the IBS Center for Climate Physics here at Busan National University. Uh, I was trained as a theoretical physicist, as a meteorologist and oceanographer, and I try to combine these three disciplines with a main goal to improve future climate projections, uh, essentially understanding future climate change. I mean, honestly, it was not an easy decision uh, for me and my family uh, because we used to live in Hawaii for 12 years. It was a very nice place, also a great university. I had a very active research group. So moving to Korea was a, a special decision uh, which was definitely motivated by the fact that the Institute for Basic Science provides a very generous funding for basic uh, research and allowed me essentially to build up a new research center uh, it's a dream come true uh, research uh, center here at Busan National University, focusing on past, present and future climate change. Busan is a wonderful city, I, I enjoy it very much. The proximity uh, to the ocean is really important for me. Having lived in Hawaii for 12 years, I always need the ocean. And also I enjoy hiking uh, in the mountains, so it's a wonderful uh, scenery. And I also feel uh, that Busan people are very special, extremely kind uh, and, and also, well, sometimes have a good temper. Uh, but I think it's a very lively atmosphere that, that I enjoy tremendously. Yeah, so our <coughs> center right now has about 40 employees uh, and our scientists work on past, present and future climate change. So we try to understand the climate system um, and how it reacts or responds to future climate change, in particular the emissions of uh, CO2. Um, and in order to understand and further uh, constrain our future projections, we actually use paleoclimate data. We go into the past in order to understand certain processes and that helps us uh, improve our computational uh, methods, our computer tools, uh, that are then used for future climate change projections. Mm, I think one has to be very passionate about science. So usually when I go on vacation, uh, I don't stop doing science. I, I always have science in my mind. Uh, I think it's more like a, a calling uh, rather than a job. Uh, but at the same time, um, it's, one has to find a good balance between being extremely critical uh, to myself uh, being very critical to others as well, not always believe what others are saying, myself uh, included. Uh, but at the same time, being critical, one also has to be extremely adventurous. Uh, I think that, that is the <coughs> balance uh, that, that really drives my science, uh, trying to explore new horizons, uh, start, initiate new fields of, of research, uh, but at the same time always try to be uh, critical and extremely careful in every step that I'm doing. Um, I would also really just <clears throat> say follow your passion uh, and um, curiosity. Uh, I think if somebody has a curiosity to understand the world, they should really uh, follow that, that uh, drive. And at the same time, I think it's important for students also to develop the skill to be critical against themselves, <clears throat> to themselves, but also to their professors and, and also their fellow students and always think what is logic and not just believe. Uh, I think science is not a matter of believing, science is a matter of understanding. And in that regard, I really would like to encourage students uh, to become more self-confident uh, and also learn not only the contents, not only learn uh, whatever from books and, and lectures, but also learn the skills how to learn. Uh, and I think that's the key point of being a scientist. You are developing a skill uh, that allows you to start a new research question, that allows you to explore something that nobody has done before. So we are always in reinventing ourselves uh, almost every day. Uh, we are exploring new parts of knowledge, we are starting new uh, research uh, projects that nobody has worked on. So we need to have this drive, the curiosity, the passion, uh, but also this spirit uh, to, to start a new adventure. So that's something I, I would like to encourage uh, students in PNU in, in South Korea in particular to develop. Uh, science is not a job, it's a passion. Uh, PNU is an amazing opportunity. Uh, for me, for our center, and uh, I hope also that we can offer opportunities for the students and other faculty members here. 
Okay, sure, sure.